Our next topic in gravity is looking at, the, uh, at a satellite in orbit around the Earth and whether or not that satellite experiences uh, acceleration due to gravity and whether or not that satellite has weight. Now, when we look at pictures or, or film footage of um, astronauts in orbit around the Earth, they all seem to be weightless. They all seem to kind of float in space, but that's because in orbit a satellite and of course a space shuttle or any other capsule that contains human beings uh, is actually in free fall around the Earth, is actually falling towards the Earth and only because the satellite has sufficient uh, velocity it will never hit the Earth but continue to fall around the Earth. And uh, because of that we need to be able to figure out the acceleration due to gravity. What is the actual acceleration of the free fall motion of the satellite? Well, if the satellite is for example 500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, and let's say the mass of the satellite is 1,000 kilograms, what would the acceleration of gravity be at that height for the satellite? And so what we can do is start again with the general equation, F is equal to G times M times big M divided by the distance between them squared. Now notice here that the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite is going to be more than the radius of the Earth, it's going to be the radius of the Earth plus H. So we can say that the radius of the motion is equal to the radius of the Earth plus the height of the satellite above the Earth. So we have to make sure to include that. And we know that that is going to be equal to the force or the weight of the satellite. So we know that the weight of the satellite F is equal to MA. And so if we set these two equal to each other, then we can solve for the acceleration due to gravity uh, at that height. So MA is equal to G M big M over R squared. First of all, we can go get rid of the M, so the satellite, we don't need to know that. And for R, we're going to plug in the radius of the Earth plus H. So the acceleration is equal to G times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the Earth plus the height of the orbit quantity squared. All right, let's plug in the numbers. So we get uh, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons meter squared per kilogram squared. Multiply the times the mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And divide the whole thing by, that would be 6,378 kilometers, which is 6,378,000 meters, plus the height, which is 500 kilometers or 500,000 meters. Take the whole thing together and square it out. All right, now with a calculator, let's find out what that is. Now remember, on the surface of the Earth, it was 9.8, so let's see what it is 500 kilometers above the Earth, and it's not going to be zero. So we have uh, 6378000 plus, plus 500,000 equals, we square that, that's a denominator, so we take 1 over x, that brings it to the numerator, times 6.67 e to the 11 minus times 5.98 e to the 24th equals, and it is going to be 8.43 meters per second squared. So notice it's not zero, but it's also not 9.8. The farther you are you away from the Earth, the less the gravitational acceleration is going to be. Matter of fact, the way the rule of thumb is, if, um, if on the surface of the Earth, surface of the Earth, a is equal to G, which is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, if you are twice as far away, if R is two times the radius of the Earth, so let's draw a little Earth here. Let's say here's the Earth, and there's the radius of the Earth. So if you're twice as far away, if H is equal to the radius of the Earth, then the acceleration of the gravity is going to be equal to G divided by 4. Why 4? Because the force between any object and the Earth is going to be a proportional 1 over the distance squared. So if you double the distance, it's only 1 fourth of force and 1 fourth acceleration. If the radius is equal to 3 times the radius of the Earth, then the acceleration there would be equal to g divided by 9. And if the radius is equal to 4 times the radius of the Earth, then a is equal to g over 16. Now you've got to be careful here. Let's say we take this, this case right here where the radius is four times the radius of the Earth. That would be, let's say, uh, this is uh, R equals two times the radius of the Earth, and this is R equals three times the radius of the Earth uh, over here, and this is R equals four times the radius of the Earth over here. Notice that the height above the Earth is only 
three times the radius of the Earth. So right, the height then would be only be three times the radius of the Earth for the total distance being four times the radius of the Earth because then you have to include the radius of the Earth itself. But at that point, if you're three times if you're three times the radius of the Earth above the Earth, if the height above the Earth, the height of the orbit is three times the radius of the Earth, then the acceleration of gravity is g over 16. So make sure you see the difference there. And anyway, now you can see how, as you go further and further out, the acceleration diminishes as one over the distance squared, but definitely it's not going to be zero until you're very, very far away from the Earth, almost infinitely far away, then of course the number drops to zero. And that's how you work with the acceleration in the weight of an object in space.